So what made you want to start collecting markers? Like, do you, you do you collect all kinds? Because a lot of those just look like tournament markers behind you. Like These auto -cockers. are auto cockers. Uh, yeah, cockers. They're all cockers. They're, the, the majority of it's cockers, and then a lot of it's um. Do you um, see some are, mags are up there? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm like, do I see some mags up there too? There's mags up there. There's there's some one off mags up there too. Yeah, I see some. So pumps. I got that, and I got a lot of uh, um, I got a lot of uh. You know, just one-off markers that I have, and then Magfed is one of those. If they only make so many, I'll buy it. So that's why I got the AK20 because I knew it was a hard one to get. Yeah, it was a hard one. To, it, it it was a hard one to get. I'll just tell you right now. Let's go into that, like, uh, yeah, because yeah. people want to know, like, what is the process to getting your hands on that? So first off, I did reach out to the people. Um. Uh. I did reach out to them, right? So we're on different time frames, and so they would get back to me about a day later. Um, I reached out to them when they became available, but then they just sat kind of silent on the back end. And I finally got an email from the guy or the owner saying that they are available, that he has a few. So we were kind of going back and forth on it, and he finally gave me a price of what it was going to cost. Um, I was a little iffy because there is no PayPal. To protect you there is no venmo to protect you it's basically a straight transfer of money yeah into, uh, into an account so then i reached out to i think it's one of the guys on the east coast super cool guy i can't remember his name but he made a video of the ak-20 um and i reached out to him through a messenger and we were going back and forth and he told me the same thing he was a little iffy on it and so um once you do get it, actually, it was pretty quick. But the thing is, no one contacts you from customs. And for each day, and for each day that they hold your marker or your in customs, it's $110 a day to hold it. Oh, oh, yeah. so yeah, do so. you get notified when it hits customs, and then you just don't know to know when it's for how long? Uh, it's I, there, did, when it I did. I got hit. I got hit three days later telling me. Are you coming down to pick? I got a phone call from customs and they basically said, are you coming down to pick up your box? And I said, what box? They're like, we, we emailed you. And I said, no, you did not No, we emailed you. Anyway, can you come by today? And I said, it's like seven 30 at night. No, I go, I'm going home. I go, I'll just pick it up tomorrow. And she goes, it's $110 a day. I'm going to go tonight. So no. So here's the other thing. And I said this, I said, okay, well then let me go down there. How can I pick that bring cash or credit card? She goes, no, it has to be a business check. Oh, wow. Right. And so I couldn't do it. So I waited till the next day. I remember calling Ben telling him I'm on my way to go to customs for this thing. You go to like this big storage custom freight area. It's all disorganized. No one knew what I was talking about. All I had was the number of, of the invoice. The girl who I talked to was actually there. She says, you're going to have to go to the custom police and pick up and pick up the box over there. So she gave me the paperwork. I went over there. It's, it, it's your typical inspector kind of personality where they're just like, what? What do you need? And I'm just like, I'm just here to pick up a box. And he goes, what's in the box? And I said, <laughs> <laughs> what's in the box what's, what's in the, the box? box that's what he said <laughs> because i mean <laughs> it, it's an ak-20 <laughs> so, like, what he goes uh i said it's a i actually i didn't even say paintball gun i didn't want to say anything with gun so i said it's a paintball it's a paintball marker and yeah he goes, and he goes what is that it's a paintball, gun. A paintball he goes are you gonna sell this i go no it's for me i'm a collector he goes, where's your broker? I said, what broker? He goes, you have to have a broker come with you to release it. Oh, my God. Because it requires another license. And I looked at him and I'm like, what? sir, I have no idea what you're talking about. I go, I've never done this before. And he said to me, he goes, listen, I'm retiring in a week. I'm going to write this off. I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> so he, he stamped it. Oh! Gave it to me. Then I leave there, and then I had to go back, and then I had to go to their docking area. They bring a full dolly to bring a box that's like this big, like it's that wasn't even that big of a box. And they bring a dolly, and they're like Rodriguez, and I went to go pick up the box, and I called up Ben. I'm like, I got it. So 
let's just say that it was two and a half hours and it cost 900 bucks to get it out. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. So that's on top mm -hmm. of how much it costs to pay for it. I and would say, with, correct. So with, with 12 mags and the marker was about 2,100 bucks, 2,200 bucks. So you have 12 $10. mags in the marker? No, nah, there's, well, I, cause, cause you, cause you order more, more magazines, right? Cause it only comes with two. Yeah. Right. Right. So I ordered 10 more, came with two. I got the tactical version of it. So that was like 2,200 bucks. And then it was another eight to 900 bucks to get it out of prison. Jeez. Damn. Out of prison. <laughs> yeah. At a marker prison. Like, in, That's sad. like for some people watching and like in all reality, like compared to some collector edition paintball markers, that's like like mid to high end for price. Right, right, right. The thing is, you, you got to look like, I know guys that will spend 5,500 bucks on a pink lady DC2, yeah. you know? You know, oh. so so it's 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 what it's worth to you. Because if they only make so many and you don't have one, it's like it is what it is. And so people can say, I would never do that. It's not that much. It's, it's totally fine. It's just about being a, you know, this is something that I wanted. And so I got, so. yeah. And now you're like one of what, like three people in North America. I, know, right? I have no idea. I mean, I don't know how many are actually in this in, in in the states. So I have no idea. But I think, from what I heard, there's only maybe ten of us, something like that. Really? Something well, like that. we have a Patreon, and he's backstage, and he's asking us, "Was it worth it?" I would do it. It's show and tell time. <laughs> it's show and tell time. Show it's okay. Look, I'll show it to you. Hold on one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you got to show sure. it. Hey, but I touched bag. it, okay? I touched it. I held it. You touched it? <laughs> I was like, ooh. So did, you, did you use it? I didn't yeah, get to I shoot it. it. Some people, see, people were hogging it, so I was just like, I, I, I'll wait because I have my chance. You know, I got to wait for him. I, I'm going to bring I'm gonna bring him in full screen here. All right. So, obviously, the magazines. I would say, comparative to the magazines, if you were going to say what's an indestructible magazines, I would say the Die Damn magazines are really strong. Second runner-up would probably be the CF20s, and then the uh, fitties uh, probably fall underneath this. These are hard plastic. I wouldn't say they're indestructible, but they're not—they're not poorly made. They're actually pretty good. I do like the um, the way it closes and 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 the mechanics behind it. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Yeah. But they're but they're they're well made, and you can actually do can't take them apart to clean them. So okay. they're, they're not bad. The marker altogether. There is no plastic on this thing except for <laughs> except for this, right? That's it. Really? Everything, everything is metal on this thing. Oh, yeah. It does at smell first, like an AK, dude. At first, I thought this was plastic or whatever it was. It's not. So as far as realistic and what it is and for what it is functionality, it's pretty well made. I mean, quality-wise, you pick this up, it looks like real steel. It really does. Right. I mean, it, it has all the dynamics behind it. As far as the charging, it's got a nice kick to it. It does remind me, the kickback reminds me of an old SMG 60 from back in the uh, 80s. The yes. It's got that, it's got that kick where it goes pop, 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 pop. So it's got a nice kick to it. <laughs> so What's as far as quality and as far as it going in and it fitting, everything's pretty flawless on it. Nice. So. What's the operating pressure on that? You know, that's a great question. I have no idea. I really only used it one time. I was supposed to field it at my friend's house before I actually brought it to the field. I never made it out there in time to actually do it. So it was kind of a uh, test test by fire on the day that I brought it out when everybody saw it and everybody decided to, to like take pictures with it. Like it was like a, 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 a you know, a pretty, a pretty kitty. So, so Oh, that is a very, very pretty kitty. So, there you now, go. Now, does it shoot round ball and first strike, or is it, it just? Does. So it comes it does, with eh? two, it comes with two barrels. Okay, the barrels are very interesting too. It's not cocker thread barrels. You would think it would be some type of uh, barrel that you're going. Oh my goodness! I can put one of my on there, and I can do my own version. You can't. The way it's slotted is there's one pin through here, and you basically pull the barrel out. And it's the pin that holds the barrel. Okay. Right? And the thing is, it has two bore sizes. It has one for round ball, and it has one for first strike. Right? 
But the problem with having that variation is the fact that round balls are not all sized the same. Yeah. So I was thinking about taking the barrel, sending it to BMC. And having it have free it board, board. And, and have it XL'd out, right? I was going to do that, right? Because I took the smaller barrel that was made for FSR. I did fire it that day. And it shot fucking pretty good when it worked. But it yeah. did jam. Yeah. Right. And there was a time out there when you're sitting there, because most of the time, if you're out there, you know how to troubleshoot your marker. You drop, you move, you do, you clear and you shoot. It's it's like one movement while you're still in play with this. Since you, I've never done it, I had to have my guys around me to make sure that I could clear or else we were going to get moved on on that game. So re realistically, I only played with it one game. That was it Okay. for full auto. Fucking beautiful when it shot. Yeah. But beautiful. When it shot, you're just like, wow, that's 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 nice. But when it started doing its little malfunction down, I didn't really know what to do. I didn't know how to troubleshoot it fast enough. So that's all it was. So, yeah. So would I so, buy it again? Um yeah, I'd buy it again. I would that's what I wanted to hear. But, the, yeah. the, not that you wanted to buy it again. I wanted to hear the truth. I wanted to hear yeah. the truth on that. And you know what? Hearing that, they see that, yeah. So that confirms see Pat. Like if you think about it, that's like buying a die dam. Oh, yeah. Right? Like a, By the like time a... you buy that marker in the 10 extra megs, because it comes with the two, comes with the two barrels. Does it come with a tank? This one? No. Yeah. No. So you this have to have no. your own tank. Right. I mean, but you know, I mean, you, you know, first strike has their now little mini 15 CI. Yeah. And I, I actually picked up a, I actually picked up the, uh, through, uh, I, I picked up a European die yep. tank 15 CI before it was even released to anybody. Cause I needed it. It's one of those things I wanted. So I, I, I paid the money to bring it over.